we are here to talk about the bcg growth matrix which is a very important concept not just for your acca strategic business leader paper but also in general when you start working this is a topic that we you will be using and is widely used very very practically before i talk about the concept itself we need to understand why this concept came into picture so the boston consulting group came up with a basic metric to judge how you should rank your products whether you should invest further in your products depending on certain uh, depending on if they have a high growth rate or if they have captured a certain amount of market or you can go with strategies such as cost leadership where you price your product below the market price to capture um, capture the market more aggressively or you can completely divest which is you take your money out and you invest it elsewhere with that being said let's actually talk about the concept and i'll explain it to you with the use of uh, apple's products and where they would ideally rank in these four quadrants right so the bcg growth matrix is a basic chart which judges product based on their growth uh, you know their mark their growth rate and their market share so think of four quadrants right so we'll first talk about the top left quadrant which is high growth rate and high market share so this is what is frequently known as a star product or they call it stars so to give you an example apple's iphones are absolutely their star product they have a very very high market share for this product and at the same time they also have a very high growth rate every year you see more and more people switch to apple's iphones from their android phones the quadrant to the right is uh, basically what is called a question mark and the idea of a question mark is that the growth rate is high but the market share is low these are usually untested products that are new in the market so your strategy for these products can either be investing more uh, taking up a cost leadership approach with these uh, and there are various other strategies associated with this particular quadrant again this is what we usually call question mark and the reason it is called a question mark is because it can either become a star or it can become a dog and i'll talk about dog in a second to give you an example of a question mark product i'm sure you all are aware of the router that apple has and they call it apple tv so you can basically connect it to your tv and watch various shows it's an ott platform we don't know how it is going to perform yet which is why we would put it in the question mark zone right coming to the next quadrant which is a cash cow now the typical uh, characteristics attributed to the cash cows are they they, they have a high market share but they have a low potential to grow to give you an example of this let's talk about apple's mac now apple's mac has uh, you know a, a very high market share in the in the laptop uh, or in the in the computer industry but their scope to grow is very low because of the price point so it is their cash cow what people or what companies usually do with cash cows is they sort of keep extracting the money from that product and they either invest it in their star or they invest it further into their question mark products to ensure that those are also growing finally the final quadrant which is uh, at the bottom right of your screen is called dogs now these are products that are that, that have a low market share and a low growth rate so to give you an example ipads is sort of what you can categorize in this quadrant and the reason for that is it is a very very niche product uh the reason it, it it does not grow as quickly as the other apple products is because there are other options available in the market at a better price point plus the features that the ipad is sort of giving you are available through other products that apple has um you can virtually do everything you do on an ipad on an iphone or on a mac or you might be able to do it through your apple tv in the future so this is the bcg growth matrix i hope this has been helpful and if it has check out our other videos Thank you.